What's up everybody, TCM here back with another video and lately I have been bored and uh, that boredom is definitely stemming from it being the end of the year. There's not a lot of clients around, there's not a lot of people around, everybody's on vacation so I've got free time and in my free time I like messing with scammers because what's better than wasting a scammer's time and so I have been going and emailing scammers seeing what results I can get out of it. And that is uh, what today's video is going to be about. In the past, we've done a video on uh, hiring a hacker to hack my Facebook. And I think that's one of the most viewed videos on the channel. So you all really like that. And I want to deliver something similar again. But in this video, what we're going to do is part one, I'm going to show you kind of the scam and why they're doing what they're doing. And then part two, we're going to dive into realistic hacking techniques without actually hacking anybody. So we're going to do open source intelligence gathering techniques. We're going to look at what information that we can gather from the individual leading up to a complete location uh, revelation. And we're going to do that all in about 10 minutes or less. So we're going to hop over there. First and foremost, if you're a fan of the channel, you like the video, please do hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. And then also, we just launched a merch store. So if you're interested in getting cool shirts like this, like hate less, hack more, you can come visit us at HTTPS merch.tcm-sec.com or you can also visit us at tcm-sec.com forward slash merch to get any of this cool merch that you see here. Okay, so let's hop right into it. First, we're gonna start with a story. So I received this email a few days ago uh, attention to this urgent good news. And apparently the director of finance uh, from the minister of uh, Contino Republic du Benin, uh, I can't speak French and sorry for butchering that, but they're contacting me uh, based on compensation of $1.5 million. So apparently I've, I've got $1.5 million coming my way. They put all of that onto an ATM MasterCard, like those things that you go buy from the store that have a limit of $500, they put all of it onto a $1.5 million card. Awesome. So from there, they have been given the instruction from the Minister of Fund Administration Authority. Uh, and we are getting compensated because we have been victims of scams. <laughs> so they said, hey, you're a scam victim. Here, let's scam you again. Uh, so they said, hey, contact this person to claim your fund. So I don't know if they're giving us $150,000, still a lot of money to put on a card. Anyway, they want us to have uh, provide back our full name, address, nationality, and direct telephone number. And they said, hey, you're mandated to pay the insurance fees. This is where the scam comes in. And this is where a lot of these scammers, uh, this is a lot of what the scammers do is they send you an email and they say, you've won something. You've You've got an inheritance, you've won a million dollars, and all I need from you is a tiny little fee, a couple hundred dollars, maybe five hundred dollars. But don't worry, once you pay the fees, you're going to get all this money. So it's awesome. Don't worry about it. And most people don't fall for this. But unfortunately, there are people that are gullible or older and may fall for these kinds of things. And, um, you know, I hate I hate that this happens. Uh, so this this video, too, is supposed to be informative. And hopefully if anybody is watching and ever sees the situation, um, awareness is, is everything. Right. So these are things to look out for. Now, moving on. I send back really quick. Hey, I'm Archie Bunker. I give them Archie Bunker's house address. And if you don't know who Archie Bunker is, um, I'm probably dating myself in age. And if you're older watching this, you probably know if you're younger, I'm probably splitting the room a bit. Anyway, I gave them a American, obviously, and then the rejection hotline phone number. If they actually were to dial that, it's a number that you can give out uh, when you're not interested in somebody and somebody asks you for your number at like the club or a bar or wherever. Uh, rejection hotline is great. Give it a dial if you want to see what it sounds like. Anyway, I sent that back and they sent me this whole thing. I'm not going to read this all to you, but basically they say, hey, you need to pay us $230. And this has been approved by the UN nation, the Federal Minister of Finance and the Supreme Court Justice, uh, which is awesome. So all you got to do is pay us, totally approved by the Supreme Court, of uh, Western Union, MoneyGram, transfer, whatever. And then they gave me a name, uh, James Cola, probably a fake name, maybe a real name, who knows. 
And then they're actually in this city. At least that's where the, the money is going, right? Um, so they said, hey, get it to us within 72 hours. They have to add urgency because urgency is what gets you to go do something in action. And in fact, after they sent this, I didn't respond for an hour or two. And they replied and said, hey, you've got to get this done because they want to add that urgency so that you do something for them. Uh, here, you got 72 hours. If you can't do it, they'll take an iTunes gift card because, you know, the Supreme Court deals in iTunes gift cards as well. So anyway, with that being said, they signed this. Um, the, here's how they signed it. Uh, so they gave the signature and then he attached two ID cards um, for he, he signed it something, one name, and then he gives the ID cards of another name, um, which if you pull these ID cards up, he gives a fake passport. Um, and he also gives uh, this this bank ID, which we'll get into this in a minute. OK, uh, but we can extract this picture. I extracted this picture off of this ID. And we'll look it up, see what what information we could find. But this doesn't even look like a scan. This is just really, really poorly done. Um, anyway, so I said back to them, I said, Western Union is asking for an address and a phone number. Please provide because I want to get as much information as possible. OK, so they gave me an address. Um, I tried looking it up. It might be there. I wasn't able to find a lot of information about it. The phone number they gave me, I also looked up. Um, I tried to call it and use my voice changer that I got. Nobody answered. Um, but I was working on this and I couldn't find any real information except the phone number came up on another page about scam. So if you Google this phone number here, it comes up with another email address, more of this, and it comes up with just scam information. So this is a scam phone number. So he said, hey, I, I want you to confirm the receipt of this. So. This is where the fun starts coming into play. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to a different page here. OK, so what I did is I took a screenshot of this and I just uploaded it into a Google Drive folder um, and I made that Google Drive folder shareable. So I came in here, I said share this and then I just made a link where anybody can access this and I copied this link. OK, um, what I want to do is I want to see if I can get him to click on a link. So. I use something called Gravify. If you search Gravify or go to gravify.link, you can also do this. Basically, you can come in here and paste your URL and you can create this. OK, create a URL. It's going to say, hey, do you agree to the terms and services? I agree. Create the URL. Now, here's where it gets kind of fun. In the past, it used to be that they just gave you this Gravify link and they had maybe six or seven URLs that you could choose from. Now it's getting pretty good. It's getting pretty, pretty good. OK, uh, what you can do is you can come up here and say change domain, make a custom link. And instead of using Gravify, which a lot of scammers will know, you come in here and make it look more legitimate. So I came in here and said, hey, screenshot dot best because I'm taking a screenshot um, and I'm going to say, hey, it's a PNG because it is a PNG. And also I'm going to say it's an image because it's an image. So what comes out is this URL screenshot.best forward slash image.php and it gives a PNG link. OK, so I copy that and I just send that over um, and sending that over. I go ahead and just ask him. I say, hey, can you verify that this is the address that I sent it over to? And here here's a screenshot of that email. So I just said, thank you. I'm about to hit send, but I want you to confirm that this is correct. And it looks like a screenshot. Hey, here's a here's a link. OK. And they reply back, yes, it is very correct. And I'm waiting to receive the Western Union payment slip from you ASAP. And that's when you get your Carlton face on because you know that they looked at your link. So we go back, refresh the results, see what has happened on that Gravify page. And let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger here. Um, you can see that we have information we've got um we've got that they clicked on it what time they clicked on it okay you can see they're out of nigeria uh you could see that they were using mozilla uh 5.0 browser firefox 95 which as of today 95 is the latest version so good job scammers for keeping your uh your firefox up to date excellent they are using windows 7 not excellent um that is out of out of date very much so and you can see the isp information here I went ahead and just blurred out their IP address. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get this back. 
you can go to a page like IP to location, something like this. I just screenshotted this um, again, so I don't have to blur out all this on a, a video, but you can go to something like IP to location, put in the IP address, and then you start getting information like this. Um, Nigeria, you can see the coordinates of the city. You can see the city is Ota. Again, I'm probably butchering this. You can see the time that it is there right now. A lot of details, um, the ISP, everything. Uh, so this is pretty neat. Um, easy to do and yeah, get them to click on your link. So with that in mind, there are a few things I'd like to show you from a perspective of um, research, okay? So first of all, Google Images. We saw the fake ID that was sent to us. Um, we can go in with the fake ID and we could try to actually drop the fake ID into Google Images, see what happens. It may pick something up, it may not. Google Images isn't uh, the, the best at this, but actually uh, this, this did come up with something. So you can come see here and see, uh, look, they've got, a, they've got a whole blog post on this person. So apparently this has been going around for, for quite some time um, and they have a bunch of information here. So. Um, interesting. You can find more information about your scammer. This is a good way to look up your scammer and, and see if this is legitimate or not as well. You can do the same thing with the passport picture, but I was curious as to who they were using. So instead I just wanted to drag this image and see if I could find that picture of who they were using. So if I scroll down in here, we can see that we actually get this internal scuffles, this person resigned. So, um, this article is about this gentleman resigning. If you Google him, this is the person. Um, obviously, it's not this Dr. Richard, whoever it was. It's, it's this gentleman here. Um, and very fake photo, very fake person, easy to identify. Uh, another page that you can use is something called Yandex, which you can search this. I actually had this up already. But you could search the image and compare it to people that look similar. I've had this work a lot of times. Um, this is the president of Ghana, which it's not the same person, but you can see that, um, you know, it's not far, it's not far off. Like they do look similar. So what it does is it goes through. And even if you can't find an exact match, which is what, um, which is what images for Google is doing here, you can at least try to see if you can find, um, a similar photo or similar person. And occasionally you will find a picture of a person, um, that is not, or that is the same person, but in a different instance, right? Obviously it's not the president of Ghana, though that would be the ultimate troll if they did use that in the picture. So another thing to be on the lookout for is account recovery. Um, I took their email and I went with the email address that they gave me and just put it into Google and said, forgot password. Um, and what this does is this will tell you part of their phone number, part of their email address, um, and give you an information on who this individual might be. Um, here I got a name of Ben or something starting with Ben and then the rest of the characters. And this is an exact character, character count of their email. So you do get information about the individual doing this kind of information gathering. So that is it for this video. If the scammer message is back, I'm, I'm going to have a little bit more fun with them. You know, at this point, I'm not going to take it any further. I'm just going to see if I can annoy them and waste their time. If I think there's content there that's of value, I will uh, I'll upload that. We'll make a part two of this. But otherwise, um, this is it. Really, the takeaways from this video are one, if you suspect a scam and anybody's ever asking you to pay money, um, that should be a big indicator that that is a, a scam. You never win free things. Come on, you're not that lucky. Um, and if you do, nobody's going to have you pay something for it. OK, uh, if you win ten thousand dollars, maybe the government's going to tax you, but they're not going to make you pay the payment right there um, beforehand, especially. So uh, on top of that, um, being able to identify scammers as well. Um, scammers are predominant to certain locations. Um, people get mad when I when I name those locations, but I think they're fairly obvious and they show up uh, time and time again. So it doesn't mean that scammers can't be in locations outside of those. But if you start seeing an email from a person out of um, you know specific countries, then it starts to be an indicator of this could potentially be a scam. Your spidey senses should go up. Um, and then just being able to have some OSINT or open source intelligence uh, gathering techniques because this is a 
Uh, this is a channel about those types of things as long, along with hacking and other uh, resources. So applying the educational side of it to how you can actually do these sorts of things, um, similar to what we do in like uh, an OSINT class, this is exactly what we would do in the in the real world if we were like trying to look for somebody or something as well. So until next time, uh, my name is the Cyber Mentor and I do thank you for joining me. Peace out.